Hey everyone, Mrs. Klein here. This is May, week five, day two, for those of you who have the narrative writing about what you would do with a day with your dog. Now, some of you don't have dogs um, or cats or any pets, and that's okay. We're gonna just pretend. So pretend like you have a dog or a cat and think, what would you do with them for a day? Um, you might even be able to hear my dog right now he is eating his food and he's right behind me and he's really loud when he eats. So you guys, if I'm really quiet, I think you guys will be able to hear him. Do you hear that? That is my dog. And I don't know with my background if you're gonna be able to see him. Um, I don't think you are. Okay, well anyway, he's super cute. I will post a picture today of my dog and I, so that way you guys can see him. But let's go ahead and look at this writing. Yesterday's writing was fun about what we would do if we were a police officer. And today we're gonna do what we would do um, if we're gonna spend a day with our dog. And again, just pretend if you don't have one, okay? And look, they give us pictures again. They want us to write three things that we would do. And then what do they do? They give us three pictures to help us come up with what we want to write, okay? So it kind of helps us with, with thinking about what we're going to write. So we don't have to use all of our brain to think about that. Okay, so, and it starts off with little transitional words. First, second, last okay and it reminds us down at the bottom again we need to use capital letters where we need to so at the beginning of sentences we need capital letters if we are using the name a specific name of something we need to use a capital letter if we are using the word i we need to have a capital letter for that word okay Next, we need to make sure that we are looking at our spacing. Make sure that all of our words have a finger space in between them so that way we can read our sentence and it doesn't all mesh together, okay? And then punctuation. And again, we aren't gonna use any question marks in our narrative writing. We're mostly gonna use periods and exclamation marks depending on what you're writing. So, Let's look at the first picture here. And again, if you guys wanna get creative and write something that is not pictured here, that is okay. I would love to see you guys be creative, but if you want to use the pictures, that is okay too. So let's see here, we have the boy and oh, he's feeding his dog. So I'm going to spend a day with my dog. First, what are we gonna do first? First. I will feed him his dog food. You could say first, I will pour him dog food in his bowl. First, I will pour him dog food in his dish. Can you guys hear my dog drinking now? Seriously, he could not have picked a better story to come over here and be so loud during. I think he's gonna go lay down now. I think he's done. Okay, so. You guys can put whatever you want for that first one. Second, what are we gonna do next? <gasps> Look at this, this little boy. What's he doing? He's giving his dog a bath. How fun, I wonder what scent his soap is. When I give my dog a bath, I use a lavender dog soap and he smells so good afterwards. I absolutely love it. Okay, so second, we're gonna say I, will give my dog a bath and we can make it even longer we could say with lavender dog soap or with oatmeal dog soap or with orange dog soap or whatever you want okay we don't have to leave it short like that we could say i will give my dog a bath with and i'm going to say lavender lavender Dog soap. Ah, oh my goodness. Look at me. This is Klein. I spelled lavender wrong. Okay. So you guys can write whatever you want there. And you don't have to add what kind of soap if you don't want to, okay? 
I have to let my dog out now. He needs to go potty after he just ate and drank all of his food and water. Okay. If you look at the third picture, what's this little boy doing? There's a little tug of war rope, a ball. Yeah, he's playing with his dog. So last, you say, I will play fetch my dog. Or you could say, I will play tug of war with my dog. Or you could just say, I will play with my dog. Okay, you can put whatever you want. But I will teach him tricks. Okay, don't forget to check out, make sure you use capital letters, spaces, punctuation. Okay, all right, you guys did great on that. I cannot wait to see what you guys wrote. If you guys have a dog or a cat or any pet at home, I want you guys to post below and let me know your um, pet's name. Maybe you post a picture, okay? Maybe you could take a picture of your pet with your flat Mrs. Klein, all right? I miss you guys, love you all. Love and hugs, bye.